we are gonna do some painting today. We are going to paint some cherry blossoms, some cherry trees, because it is cherry blossom festival time in Washington, D.C. A long time ago in 1912, Japan donated over 2,000 trees to the United States and they planted them in Washington, D.C. And every time around this time of year, they bloom and there's beautiful pink blooms and it's really a sight to see. So if you ever get to go to Washington, D.C., or maybe you've been there and seen it, it's really pretty. So we're going to make some beautiful works of art ourselves. And the things you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a white piece of paper would be good, some recycled bottles that have bumps at the bottom, because these are gonna make your cherry blossoms. You're gonna dip them into paint. You are gonna need some brown paint, and you are gonna need really pink paint, or if you have red and white paint, you could mix it together to make some pink paint, which is what I did a couple of paint brushes and then I put my paint in these bowls to make it easier and definitely to dip your bottle in to get the paint. So let's get started making our cherry blossom trees. Let's go. Okay now we're ready to paint. So you're going to get your paintbrush and your brown paint and you are going to start making your tree trunk. So you can start making the large part of your tree trunk and I made a lot of branches so I could add a lot of cherry blossoms, but you can make it however you want. So, and with this one, I made my tree go off to the side and I added lots of branches and I added a new paintbrush, a smaller one, so I could add some smaller branches. And I'm filling in some of the gaps. But if you don't have a paintbrush at home, you can use a Q-tip as a paintbrush. And that, I find, works really well. And after you finish your tree, then you can start on your cherry blossoms. So I'm working on my branches and my tree trunk, getting it the way I want it to look, but yours can look however you want. And with my next step, I'm gonna take my recycled bottles and we'll use those to make our cherry blossoms. And I'm gonna use my pink paint. But again, if you don't have pink paint, you can use any color paint that you have at your house. And I'm going to start pressing down with the paint on the bottom of the bottle. And I found that if you press lightly, that works better to make the blossoms. If you press too hard, sometimes they kind of smudge. So, and if you find they keep smudging, you can take the bottle and a piece of paper and kind of dab your bottle on there to kind of get the paint off and start with some fresh paint on the bottom of your bottle. You can add as many cherry blossoms on your tree if you want, more than I have or less. It's up to you depending on how you want your tree to look. So now you've painted your cherry blossom tree and you might have put more blossoms on than I have or less. And you don't have to use pink. If you don't have pink paint at home, you could use a different color. And yours might not look like mine, but I look, bet it looks just as great. So I hope you had fun. Painting is always fun no matter what you create. So thanks for joining me. Bye.